get yourself a camera that comes with a great phone. Huh? You cannot boost your home Wi-Fi with these home wallpapers. If you know what I'm talking about even before I start my MLM, leave a comment down below. Welcome back to MLM Monday Law with Michelle where I share with you all the latest tech news from last week. If you have anything interesting you want to share with me, feel free to comment it down below. If it's very interesting, I'll choose it and maybe feature it in the next MLM. I have a KPI to hit. Please help a sister out. So, what is up with Intel and AMD? On February 7th, AMD launched a super CPU known as 3990X. It is the first ever desktop CPU that offers 64 cores with 128 threads. It is so powerful, it can run crisis with without a graphics card. Of course, with a bit of jitter here and there. The 3990X is a 64 core, 138 thread Zen 2 based processor. It has 8 8 core chiplets built using TSMC 7 nanometer process nodes. It packs 256 MB of L3 cache with 32 MB of L2 cache. I don't know what that is. I don't even know if you guys need to know that. Anyway, depending on your workload, the cores can clock between 2.19 and 4.3 GHz, allowing the CPU to keep within a 280 watt thermal design point. It also features a quad channel DDR4 with available ECC support for super reliable output. So what is good about it? Let's compare Intel Xeon Platinum 9282 that is of the similar range. First off, AMD 3990X is definitely cheaper than Intel's Platinum Xeon 9282. It is also much faster as proven by Linus Tech Tips. A 10 minutes rendering has been reduced to about 3 minutes that is more than 50% faster. We all know 3990X is super overkill for people like you and me. It is designed for a relatively small customer base with special set of needs such as um professional visual effects artists or even companies that do 8k content. 64 cores are great and 3990X is priced at a way cheaper price than a cheese grater at only $3,989.99. If your mother gives you 20,000 ringgit tomorrow, will you buy this baby? Galaxy S20 is here and it is killing it. Here's Johnny. If you pre-order it before February 26, you'll receive a free pair of Galaxy Buds Plus worth 599 ringgit. Nah, here are the prices. The S20 is the first ever mobile phone to introduce 120Hz on an AMO LED display. If you want a longer battery life, just run it on 60Hz lah. S20 and S20 Plus both have 8GB worth of RAM while the S20 Ultra has an amazing 12GB worth of RAM. Wow, your laptop has 8GB worth of RAM ah. My new S20 has 8GB worth of RAM too bro. Let's not forget a super camera. Samsung S20 has 30 times zoom. Samsung S20 Ultra has 100 times space zoom. Even better than the Huawei P30 Pro. Now, you can zoom into your friends and see right through their souls. <laughs> All models support 8K recording and there's a new video mode that allows you to record up to 10 seconds worth of pictures so you can choose the best one out of the 10 seconds frame. Oh, this sounds a bit like iPhone's live mode. I really like the design of this phone and all the features that are packed in it. But this time, Samsung ditched the headphone jack. And also because S20 Ultra comes with 5G, so the prices has increased significantly lah. And to those who have pre-ordered the S20, congratulations, you just got yourself a great, amazing pocket camera that comes with a phone. Don't we all always hear this? Walao, my home Wi-Fi sucks. Malaysia Wi-Fi cannot make it one lah. I always disconnect from my game. I'm sure you guys complain like this before. Alright, I also did la until I got time. This is not a sponsored video. Now, the smart people from MIT, where all the smart students go to, may be here to save the day. They created home wallpapers that can boost your Wi-Fi signal. This smart surface is called R-Focus that can be installed as wallpapers anywhere as long as you've got walls ah. R-Focus is a two-dimensional surface composed of thousands of antennas that can take signals and reflect them to the desired location. The signals can be controlled by using a software that the MIT research team developed with the goal of maximizing the signal strength at the receiver. So, if my home Wi-Fi is pretty strong and I don't DC from games anymore, then I don't need law. No! Wrong! We are Asians, you're supposed to be greedy. This thing can boost your Wi-Fi by 10 times. Even if you don't disconnect from your game, you also have to make sure your mom has a smooth viewing experience on Netflix, right? Surprisingly, these wallpapers are super cheap. It's not just cheap, but it's cheap, cheap. Must Buy. Each antenna only costs a few cents, ladies and gentlemen, because their function is to only control the reflection of the signal, that's it. And the best part is, no wiring or whatsoever needed when you install them. So easy, I like it! 
Ouch. Anyway, if I apply these wallpapers at home, right, will they also prevent my neighbors from stealing my Wi Fi? If yes, then Chi Chi really must buy. PUBG fans, I know y'all waited for this until your net was so long already. Wow, the intense AVA DM mode is finally here. There are now seven battlefields in four maps. And also in this mode, you can respawn five seconds after every death. Five seconds only, man, that's not too long, right? So now you can die as many times as you want. No knockdowns, no friendly fires. You can also respawn near your team if the location and safe. Every match lasts 10 minutes. Just like any other DM, the team's objective is to have the most kills or just be the first team with 50 kills. Two rounds win to secure match victory. It is now available in the test server. PUBG fans, go and try and let me know what you think about it. Do you guys still use Snapchat or y'all convert to Instagram already leh? Do you remember when everyone can puke rainbow and become a dog? I personally do not use Snapchat because of its unfriendly app design but recently Snapchat has been doing some little makeover to the app here and there. Snapchat is carrying out two tests rolled out to a small percentage of Snapchat's user base. This is called A-B testing. If you don't know what that means, you need to study harder. The A test includes breaking news headlines inside the app itself from selected publications like Now This, Wall Street Journal, and Washington Post. The B test tests the redesign of app features and layouts. It is already confusing enough that Snapchat currently has three screens. Now they want to add two more screens, well, because they know Asians are greedy, is that it? Haha, <laughs> I'm just kidding. So what do you guys think about the updates? Do they make the app even more confusing or finally more attractive for people like me to become a Snapchat boomer again? Hmm. Next, comments time! Let's go on YouTube again as usual. Mac Daffy CH. The jokes are funny. Well done. Thank you. Jason Lo. I actually prefer to use Google Maps than Waze, especially in Penang. Been a lurker since the first MLM, but first time commenting. Keep up the great work. Thank you so much for your kind comment. But I'm just wondering, what is the reason why you only use Google Maps, especially in Penang? Next, Facebook. Let me check my laptop. Okay, you guys sent a lot of stickers. That is very cute. Razia Fifi. Tech segment. Maybe can do tech myth. Everything that myth related, like new phone needs to charge for 8 hours. Haha. Whoa. I see what you mean, Razia. Z, this is quite interesting. So, if we have a new segment that talks about tech related kind of, you know, conspiracy theories or myths, you gotta be the first one to share, okay? Esther Chang, okay, where do I get a t shirt? Ah, in the previous episode, I was wearing our mob house Bang Sawan shirt. So, if you wanna become a Bang Sawan or be like one of us, you know where to go. It's on our Facebook page. Suhara Krisato, next topic for MLM. Hmm, can you try to do a review or show a cheap microphone for around 200? 300 budget. Oh, you want us to do reviews? We do have a series that's coming soon where I do tutorials and stuff and reviews, so stay tuned. He added on a comment. If news, you can try and cover the new Intel GPU. Ah, I will do that for the next MLM. Junyap, he seems very excited when I mentioned Mob House emoji sent a previous episode. I already got a drawing pad. I just need to settle down and find time for myself to start uh, brainstorming and start sketching. I'm not a good artist, okay? But I'm gonna try. Ayub Aiman, maybe you should do a bonus MLM episode on Tuesday. What a twist it would be. Oh, a bonus MLM? Maybe I'll come out with a video on Tuesday, but definitely not MLM. There's a reason it's called Monday's Logins with Michelle. See you in the next episode. Bye-bye! Oh, eh. <laughs> well, the S20 Ultra comes with hun... No, sorry. Ayah! Uh-huh.